Are you trying to find a paint color for your basement? I mean, where do you even begin? A basement is not really like any other room in your home. There's a very good chance that it's situated underground and has little to no natural lighting. It's a space that a lot of people use for storage rather than living or even entertaining in. So how do you go about picking the best color for your basement? Well, I'll do my best in this video to give you a couple colors from different paint companies that I would consider. There are many different ways you can approach the basement paint color conundrum. And in fact, I wanted to start this video off by telling you what I would not do. And I'm going to use a Mighty Board as an example. So big shout out to them. Their information is in the description if you wanna know more about their product. But I have Simply White painted on my Mighty Board in this basement. It looks like the perfect option, doesn't it? What a fantastic way to brighten up this unfinished, dingy space. Assuming I put drywall up first, of course. But to be honest, I've never been a fan of insanely bright whites in areas that don't get a lot of natural light. I understand the methodology that some designers might have by going as bright as you can with your paint color to compensate for the lack of light coming in through windows. The thing is, it just doesn't look good to me because what ends up happening is those beautifully bright white wall panels start to look kind of crummy once you get to those dimly lit shaded corners of the room, almost like a yucky dark vignette that may look cool as an Instagram filter, but not in your basement. But luckily, I have an alternative. Instead of going with a mega bright white, I prefer a fairly bright off-white, like Bear Paint's New House White. New House White is easy, inoffensive, a touch warm to prevent it from feeling too depressing down there, but it has a really high LRV of 85. This means it reflects 85% of the light that hits it versus a much brighter white that's maybe in the 90s. That may not seem like a massive difference, going from 85 to 93, let's say, but to me, it makes all the difference. When I pick a white paint color for the basement, I try not to exceed an 85 LRV so I can avoid the yucky corner action that bright whites can bring. Another common strategy that I see people use effectively is assuming that your basement walls should be treated just like the ones upstairs, which can actually work in a lot of cases. A color like Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray is darker than Newhouse White with a 60 LRV, but it also sits around that lighter mid-tone range of colors that I'm very fond of, generally speaking. It's passive as a color and has a nice fusion of gray, beige, and brown, and this allows it to work with any flooring you end up using in your basement, whether you're keeping them as bare concrete or some engineered hardwood or whatever you decide to do. I really like to make sure my walls and my flooring go hand in hand because they tend to occupy a lot of the visual space in the basement, ceilings as well. Agreeable gray is an awesome color for all over your home, so why not carry it into the basement as well? It's not the most genius or inventive selection, but it's totally valid. Now, just because basements are typically cold and cave-like, that doesn't mean you have to stay away from any colors containing cooler undertones. You can go really bold with a deep saturated blue if you want, or play things a little bit safe and subtle by going with a muted gray green like Pearl Gray by Benjamin Moore. I like a lot of what this color is doing. It has a freshness to it from that slightly minty green undertone, and it also has a hint of beige in the background to liven it up slightly. And its LRV is near 75, making it pretty darn light for a basement, but also not too light either for reasons that we talked about earlier on in the video. There's a couple colors in this color category that I've used in basements and they look wonderful, but I really like pearl gray because it doesn't lean too heavily into a cooler blue green. It still has just a hint of warmth in it, which is important for warming up an already cooler space. So what, James? I can only use off-whites and light mid-tone colors in the basement? Who are you to make up all these rules, bro? Well, I am the paint person, aren't I? Like 
kind of a big deal over here. No, I'm just kidding. There's definitely no rules when it comes to picking colors for a basement or even your upstairs or your exterior for that matter. Just some suggestions. I think more people than not will want something a bit lighter to help the space feel a bit more open and less closed in, but I still use darker colors pretty often as well, especially in the sectioned off portions of a basement. And you can go really dark with it too. I'm currently into Ferro and Ball's color called Cola, which is a beautiful combination of deep espresso brown with a lovely red undertone mixed in as well. This color is dark and I'm so happy they pulled it out of their archive and reintroduced it as part of the new Liberty Collection by Ferro and Ball which we will be doing a video on very shortly, so that's cool. <laughs> In a way, you could also treat your basement the same way you would treat a powder room color, for example, where you can have a little bit of fun with it because it's not part of the main arteries of your home, like your hallway, for example. Just keep in mind that if you are going with a color as dark as cola, it will give your basement more of a cave feeling, which could be perfect. It could be exactly what you're going for. Navy blue is another phenomenal dark color you can go with in a basement. And one of my favorites by Pharaoh and Ball is in this video right over here. We did an episode of Color Code on it, which is our color review series, super awesome color.